Okay, so I have my drilled sea glass um, and I will leave a description. Uh, I will leave a, a link in the description as to where you can um, find how to how to drill sea glass. Uh, I have a couple of other videos on how to drill sea glass. So this video does not include that part. So I have my green sea glass center drilled. I have some brown sea glass center drilled. Um, you don't have to use the brown. You can use uh, any kind of bead. So let's uh, go in order here. So this is a flat head straight pin, or rather head pin. So it has a flat end. Okay, and then on the other side, when we're done, I'm going to show you how to just do a, a simple eye pin um, ending on that. So, okay, so you want to collect um, smaller to larger pieces. This is going to be a little mini Christmas tree. So, of course, the Christmas tree goes from small to large or large to small. Uh, so, first thing, so the bottom is where the flat is. I am going to string, and again, this is the base of the Christmas tree. I am using brown sea glass. You can use anything. You can use a bead, you can use a wooden bead, um, whatever you want. For this, I am using drilled brown sea glass. So I'm gonna put that down there. Let me see, I'm gonna use the smaller one. Okay. Uh, oop, see it? Okay, that's a lesson. The, the hole is too big for the flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my teeny tiny little beads. Um, I chose red and I'm going to put that there. And that's just like a stopper and it'll look pretty. So I'm going to now string the brown that stays snug. Maybe I'll do another brown just so you can really see it when it's done as the base of the Christmas tree. Okay, so now I'm going from large to small and again it's up to you you can put cute you know tiny little beads in between each green piece I'm just going to do flat green pieces with nothing in between these are so cute and by the way you can you know you can make these into make this into a necklace or do two of them and do earrings um, this is going to be like a mini ornament okay <clears throat> so now for the star, uh, you can use starfish bead, which would be really cute. Um, I ran out of my uh, rhinestone ones. That looks really, really pretty. So I have to remember to get more of those. But I'm actually just going to use um, a shell star. It's a um, kind of like a, what do you call it, like a mother of, of pearl star which I actually got these at Hobby Lobby. How adorable is that? So now to finish it off I'm going to do I'm going to create um, an eye pin eye hook that looks like it's going to be a little too long there so I'm going to snip it a little bit <clears throat> and I'm going to take my round nose pliers I'm going to pinch it and I'm just going to roll, roll it, slide it out. See that little pin, that little eye, little hook, whatever you want to call it. So what I like to do then is re-pinch it, stick one of the barrels inside the hole, pinch it, and then bend it back just a little. So you see it has that little bend in there. And then what I use is just you know, store-bought hooks. Um, I just, I love these fancy hooks. I also have a video on how to make your own fancy hooks. I'm gonna put that in the description as well. But this one is just a store-bought and they're just so pretty, just like so. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment subscribe and all that good stuff.